Today we're looking into new ways to save you money on rent. The National Association of Realtors says no place in the country is seeing rent rise faster than in the city of Knoxville. 10 News reporter Chrissa Lucas is looking at options for people hunting for a place to live. But as she explains, deals are hard to come by in this market. It was near the end of 2022 when Brianna Holloway and her five children got evicted. My biggest fear is that uh, we're not going to be able to afford to stay in a hotel before we can find permanent housing. Legal Aid, a free legal service, says a landowner has the right to raise rent. We don't have laws that strictly limit the notice period or the amount by which a landlord can raise rent. If you get caught in a tough situation, you can reach out to KCDC Housing for an emergency voucher. But get to it as soon as you can. Getting a voucher is so lengthy. It can be a 12 to 18 month process, but depending on what your circumstance is. But if you were to lose that voucher, you're just done. As for Brianna Holloway and her five children, they got approval. But... Uh, rent amounts that the vouchers cover do not match or exceed the amounts of rent that these property owners are charging. She was receiving money from CAC as a temporary solution, but that group ran out of money because of demand. That's not the only place to see an increase in need. Renting assistance 211 calls spiked in 2020 at around 2,600. It was nearly 1,800 last year. With rent and utilities rising, it's put many people in a tough spot. I'm really up against um, a Goliath right now. Unfortunately, some folks can't find help because of limited resources in programs. That leads them here to CARM. They tell me they're currently running at around 90% capacity. CARM also told us they haven't turned anyone away who needs help. Chris Lucas on the story for us. And for more help finding short-term and long-term housing, you can check our website, WBIR.com.